Wubba lubba dub dub! S'more is back, guys! Grab yourself something delicious to drink, join me, let's get going. Oh, friends, Alpha 16, finally. I'm a little late, out the gate, but it's gonna be great. No worries. So, new game. Warrior, okay. Oh, that doesn't work. Let's default that. Hopefully, at some point, we'll get zombies run when it's dark, even during daylight. That would be great. Let's do a uh, 90 minute. I've been watching a little bit of some of the other YouTubers play. And so I think I have a pretty good idea of what uh, of what the settings should be. Now, I tried testing this uh, just by rolling the days forward with uh, DM mode and the spawning didn't work right. So we'll try 64 enemies, but my machine may not handle it. I'm not real sure. Um, every three days is fine. I'm gonna mark the airdrop. Uh, feel free to make fun of me in the comment section below. All right, guys, I'm gonna hit start, and then 20 minutes later, we're gonna boot into game finally. I'll bring you guys back then. Friends, it is good to be back. Here we go, the seed name is A16SMOORE. Let's see, we have a little trail up top there. And finally, in Alpha 16, you don't have to scrap your land claim block. There's actually a real good use for it. Let me know if that sounds a little quiet. It sounds a little quiet to me, in fact. Here, we will fix that right away. Options, audio, let's bump that up to 30. Yeah, we'll bring them all to 30. The first few episodes are always fun, trying to balance that. That's quite a bit better. Oh, friends, it's good to be back. I have missed this uh, tremendously. So uh, about the same time this drops, I should have a tutorial video on electricity and traps where we go through and we kind of figure out together the ins and outs, the nuances, if you will, of all of that. All right. So this episode is not going to have a whole lot of editing. It's going to be pretty straightforward. If you don't know how to survive your first night, this episode will probably show you how to do that. That is the goal after all, right? Uh, I have no doubt that I will be dying a lot. I watched poor Rongo get just obliterated. It was painful to watch. Rongo, much love, but I know that you will agree with me. Let's see, any loot immediately nearby to get? I see one more bird's nest. Come on, there we go. All right, friends, so the, oh my gosh, that's a ton of feathers, all right. So the very first goal in game, right? Let, we're gonna get high in elevation up there, even though it is next to the frozen biome. Ooh. But we wanna get some elevation so we can see what's near us, and then we want to find a town. That is the very first step. Now, I kinda wanna knock out these intro quests before I get too far. So uh, we're gonna take a few minutes, we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna need some cotton later for these intro quests. I haven't actually done them yet, guys. Like this is, I have seen barely any gameplay and I have somewhat of an idea of what to expect just because I watched Rongo get wreck a whole bunch. Rip Rongo, rip. But other than that, guys, this is completely new. Um, also, the field of view seems quite sucked in. Um, oof. It's not making me sick, but like, I feel like I'm about four feet tall. Also, for those of you experiencing like some erratic mouse speeds, if you go into your controls, there is a slider now for menu mouse speed for whatever reason. Um, make sure to adjust that. 100% loot being generous with the feathers. All right, let's see. Let's get that ax going, shall we? Oof, man, I gotta get used to the buttons. That's okay though. That is that is quite all right. Shift click, boom. All right. And I did give 90 minute days just based on what I was seeing uh, Mad Mole and everyone else kind of struggle with. So yeah, oh, man, guys, I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're gonna take this down just because we want some of the raw resources. Another thing, too, in this uh, Alpha 16 playthrough, I don't know how much underground mining I'm really going to do. If we find a cave, I'll clear it. But, guys, I don't know how how excited I am to get digging back into the ground again. So, uh, if, if it's been fairly fixed, then awesome. Oh, I did it. Check it out. 
But if not, I could probably just leave it um, and do a lot of my crafting above ground. Or I'm still on my crafting. A lot of my mining above ground. All right, excellent. Seems high, but maybe that's just because of how it's all balanced out now. So my goal, along with finding a town, right? Day one forge. That is the goal. And that's going to take forever doing that. So let's just uh, wait for the rest of the plant fiber to craft up. This is a 1920... Ooh, what is that up there? I wonder if that's something or that's just a glitch. I think that's something nestled way up there. I don't know if I want to go up there though. That close to the snow biome. Uh, this is 1920, 1080. Let's see, let's wear it. Max settings. In fact, I think the only thing that isn't actually maxed is the grass detail. That's at half. Or wood. Moss wood. And one of the significant changes I've seen so far is it doesn't look like you get the big boost of resources at the end of crafting something. Or, I'm sorry, of taking something down. So, like, there's no big, like, big finish of felling a tree with a whole bunch of wood. So. Alright, got that going. I'm sure we'll need some more of these. Take those down. And then these little trees, I think, are excellent until you start getting up there. Uh, let's see. So let's make some wood frames real quick here. Guys, I know this is not super duper duper entertaining, but it does need to be done. Ugh. More wood. Oh, it's weird to not be like constantly trying to min max spam craft. And we're just going to get these out of the way. Oh, we still have to, oh my gosh, gather all the wood. All right, so we'll probably, probably wind up breaking this axe, and it is kind of worthwhile to repair. Uh, your repair hit is not very much anymore. I guess I just kind of made that one stone axe out of habit, because I think you use one stone and you go down to like level 23 or something. Oh, man, excited, nervous. And I, like, another reason, too, that we're doing all this is I am actually stalling. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Um, I don't want to go. <laughs> I've, I've seen what's out there, and I didn't play Starvation, so I didn't get any practice. <laughs> we're going to go that way. Oh, that one doesn't count? What? All right, fine. And I placed it. All right, what did it give me? Five points, we get to actually buy something. Uh, I love that there are ranks now too, a lot. Um, I think that is just excellent. Actually guys, we're gonna go the direction of the trader. Oh, we're close. Oh, well that's what that is guys, that's the trader. Guys, we're gonna find a trader before 10 a.m. That is awesome, oh man. That is just excellent. So yeah, guys, we might be at the trader before 10. Um, I don't care about... Oh, that's right. Q is no longer the drop button. Now, I never really had much of a problem with that. But I know some people did. Um, oh, that's right. Points. Uh, let's see. So I would like some better weapon smithing. If we buy that, what does it do for us? It gives us a crafting quality. I don't know if this is plus 50 or it takes us 250. Um, but we can only buy one. Oh, man, so and I was always a huge proponent of quicker crafter, but now that crafting doesn't really give you XP It's all about the actions you do. Uh, I am not so sure that 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 is the case All right, let's see uh, I and, and again guys, I haven't had a chance to to look over these things Like that's cool Okay painting and I'm actually really stoked about the painting um why is this locked? Oh, it requires construction tools. 30. Okay. Oof, guys. I don't know. I guess, you know, Quality Joe is still going to be... Oh, wow. Oh, scavenging 20. That's... Well, I shouldn't be surprised. It's just been so long since I've had to restart, guys. Let's do... 
I feel like this is probably a pretty typical opener. If you were to pick anything that helps you get stamina back, I think that that would be a good choice as well. So let's finish this real quick. And then we're going to move on to the trader because I believe that the trader is going to help us uh, with all of its resource, you know, forge, workbench, all that good jazz. Also, uh, I just don't want to leave the starting area. I'm kind of terrified. I'm not going to lie. Too bad there's not a max button. Or if there is, if there's a way to max with a key binding, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, let's see. That should all be good. And I cannot wait until we get uh, a HUD UI mod. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Probably not until... Um, you know, the uh, stable is out, but a man can hope and dream. That's like four bird's nests for me. Oh, five, you guys should be proud. I never find these things. So I <laughs> have been watching everybody else play. I really don't want to go out here. I cannot tell you guys how... I've never been this concerned about venturing away from my starting area and for those of you new to the game uh you get a couple hours in game time before the zombies will come and get you so if you don't move too far away from your safe zone like we're well out of it now um you won't get sacked right away now it's not like that for a lot of the modded games so just heads up true survivor looking at you Oof. yeah i haven't been this I, I guess scared is the feeling that I'm feeling. And so notice how we're downhill, guys. That's not that's not good. You want to be uphill. Nope, me uphill. And you actually want to hit them too. And don't forget to load. Get that stun damage. Excellent. 12 bullets. Yoink, I really like that sound that you get. I was watching Joe the Pirate 1 play. Hey, go check out Joe the Pirate 1. Go check out Rongo. Um, and he pulled off this headshot. And not only did he get the distant sounding thoop noise, but like gory, bloody, brainy mess fountain. It was awesome. I haven't like recoiled back in my chair in this game in a long time. But that, what? Come on, man. No, no spawning in. And how did you not detect me yet? <gasps> Jackass. I just guessed and I missed. This guy is gnarly looking though. Come on, bud. Is my reach just terrible with this thing? I, maybe I don't actually get to hit it? Oh, oh, man. There. Okay, so he can be hit. Jeez. Oh, man. It's going to be hard to survive this apocalypse shooting like that. Here, take it in the shoulder, I guess. Mm. You'd have thought after Classic Horde I'd be doing a lot better. Where is the range? I do not like that wooden club. Is it just me or has the range been changed? It feels very different. It doesn't help that he won't stop moving either. Seeing you really want this early game XP. Wrench. Oh man, that is nice. And a bird's nest. That's incidental, but I think you guys get the gist of it. I think that's all the wood I had. So hopefully we are um, slowly making our way towards. I should probably shouldn't be sprinting. I should probably try and conserve some of the stamina. It's not like the melee weapon did me a damn thing of good. There's another one. We're going to see if we can't screw it around him. Not get picked up by anything. <sighs> We're dead. That's what I've learned is when you hear that, you're just dead. Panicking. So much panic. Where's the door? Let me in, let me in, let me in. Okay, oh my gosh, we made it in, guys. Also, 
This is the very first time I've actually made it in here. Okay, so we actually don't have hardly anything, but I did just kind of want to look around too. So they can't get in. You can hear them banging on the land claim block. Can we loot? I can't remember. Apparently we can. Awesome. We got some shirts. Okay. Well, we may leave Trader Joel's here with, um, you know, slightly better than when we entered. I can't take apart anything with the wrench. Not that we would really need to this early in the game. Nothing up here to loot. Again, that's kind of what we're doing up here. We're just looking for things to loot. Okay. Um... Oh! Oh! Apparently you just walk right over that ledge. Oh! Oh, jeez Louise. Come on, buddy. Not my smoothest move by any means. But at least we'll be able to clear the exterior where that ankles kind of sucks. That is very difficult to time. Let me tell you what. Probably on the ground. Um, can I harvest you? Yes, I can. It will just take forever. But, you know, we get some meat, which is awesome. And hopefully that lady doesn't clip through the door and whack us. And then maybe we can kind of do some searching around here and find some duct tape. Because that's what you need now to craft splints. Ugh, oh, you want to talk about a dirt moment. Yeah, see guys, this range with this thing. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if it's broken or what. Uh, let's see. Do I have any scrap metal? I, oof. Let's see if we can find some real quick. It would be nice to upgrade the club. Oh, that's right. You're not going to be able to do that. Darf. I knew that. Huh, okay, guys. And, of course, we will get kicked out, so we will need to create some sort of hidey hole somewhere before before that happens, right? We need to be ready. Hmm, I'm a little disappointed with the looting situation. I mean, I guess we can pull all the crops up, right? But uh, I don't really need that right now. We went up there, almost died. That almost killed us. That was awesome. Good times. Good times. You know, they could have put all of this stuff in one place. All the crafting stations. That's alright. They are all here. Alright, nothing to loot. Trader Jimmy. Break it, you buy it. That doesn't even make sense, but okay. How much are you going to give me for this? Five? Done. Oh yeah, we are so going to die, guys. <laughs> Ka-ching! Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Uh, I noticed, too, I don't have the smelly debuff. I also don't have any mobility. That kind of sucks. All right, let's um, let's get started on making something out here to survive. And what is that? Is that lead? I think that's lead. All right. I just don't want to pull another wolf, too. Because I won't be able to run away this time, right? Much better pathing. I feel like an Alpha 15, they wouldn't have even noticed I was there until I killed them, right? A little bit of food. Excellent. We'll take that. Let's see. Let's spend some time gathering, shall we? I bet you this guy's going to be protected. Yeah. In fact, we're going to have to go out just a little ways. Oh, nope. Okay. I kind of thought it might extend out here. Ah, uh, guys, let's take a moment. Let's just chop this tree down, shall we? Ah, uh, so... 
a lot of other YouTubers are already taking on their seven day horde, especially those on one the those that got extra extra early access. Not that I'm bitter or upset about that at all. And uh, so we're gonna need to move quickly. Um, I think the 90 minute day is a good choice. Um, I'm hoping to put out one a day. If I can get the tutorials going too, I can drop two a day, but I wouldn't expect two a day every day. But hopefully you guys check those out and you find those to your liking. Huh, what should we build, guys? I'm a little, um, I feel like we should go for something more than just um, a hole in the ground. No, or in the hillside, know what I mean? Maybe this guy will have something better for us. JK. Fine. Amble away. I didn't want to kill you anyways. Let's duck, duck back inside while we uh, make some parts. In fact, what we can do is... Where is the crafting bench? We can make it on that. Day one crafting bench usage. Excellent. Right, where is that damn thing? It's a little odd playing again and not having... Um, a real like plan I guess is, and that's maybe not the best way to put it I was really hoping they were gonna make these things the uh, way to get wire from one place to the next way to get power from one place to the next and instead they just used um oh they just used uh, you know the the um, wire system but I was hoping for those things let's see guys let's um 15 how much is a frame I think a frames just 10 right oh but the oh but the 15 is better because you don't have to upgrade it wow we don't have many of those um I guess so that that's not very surprising right so there's that we're going to need more wood yet in fact, do we have a... No, we, like, had a perfect amount to just... Okay. Um, we're going to want that for water, that for water. Um, in fact... Well, we still have that water, I guess. Let's get out there. Let's make a new tool. That will help. Again, just super leery of dogs, right? And I feel like that's, you know, for good reason. Look at this tree. Look at how pretty this tree is. All right. I get most of the stones back. I thought I dropped a point in there to get better. Oh, it was weapons. All right. That's okay. That is quite all right. We will make that work. So really, I should have just repaired the axe instead of building a whole new one, but that's okay. Um, let's see. We want... Probably this tree right there is going to be our go-to tree. So let's hack down everything but that. So guys, I'm thinking a tree house for this first night is where we're going to be staying. I don't know that we're really going to deviate too far for now uh, from the trader. i got to kind of figure out what I'm doing now that I have this broken ankle. Um... And the wolves are super, super deadly. I need to figure out how exactly I'm going to do this. Which is funny because I've had a few days to think about it. So I was away visiting family. Uh, which is why I was a little late out the gate. But I'm back. We're here. We're going to do it. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. I have like at least six completely different base ideas. Some of them work together with other ideas. Some of them don't. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out if I want to build all of them in about one area or if I want to do one per week. Um, I'm just not quite sure. You know what I mean? All right. So we'll take this one down and we will get back to that workbench. Let's see, let's craft some ladders, and we can go right up the side of the tree. That's not a problem, I don't think. Um, and then we 
can start going from there. Yeah, it's been forever since I've been this this week. This is lead, right? It's protected is what it is. <laughs> I should have known better. Oh, God, this ankle thing is just brutal. I can't believe that I just ran right off the edge, too. What a derp. Yeah, duct tape. Savage. Any glue? No, no glue. Hmm, okay. Yeah, looking around, not very impressed with what I have. Um, let's focus. Let's focus on the task at hand here. Let's get a place to, to stay at night, or else it's not going to matter at all. Anyways. Okay, so we have five of those. Let's get some ladders, shall we? That's good. And then I guess just more of these guys, right? Because we're going to need uh, walls to hide uh, under now. We're also going to need a bedroll. To place on top of our hidey hole. Okay, and then that can go right there. We're going to hold on to this land claim block because uh, we don't need to drop it just yet. And then while we're out here, we can also make a new stone axe. I can't believe how many of these things we're going through. You guys, I've never actually made a treehouse in this game. Hard to believe, I know, but uh, true story. What was that noise? Oh, great. Really? I don't think I actually have enough arrows. It makes, what, 25? And with the shot I am, that's probably not enough. Uh, let's see if I can plop these down anywhere nearby. Oh, great. He disappeared. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh. So you can hear them. Like, you guys hear that, right? Well, he's not going to go anywhere. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, there we go. Chill, bud. I need headshots, and you're not making this very... Your figure eight pattern is very, very effective. Oh, God. Oh, he is so mad. I mean, theoretically, I could just wait him out, but, like... Uh, we got to drink and eat and all sorts of other good stuff. Got him in the butt. Got him in the buttocks. We can call him Forrest. Come on, man. That's not even fair all the way over there. If you're going to be dumb like that, come on, man. Don't be like that. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else clever I can do? Eh, not so much. Not right now. Oh, this is just brutal, guys. I don't even think I can shoot through the ladders. Nope. Um, stupid wolf. I don't know why he's just taking it. Okay. I'm also a little concerned as to why, um, <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine. We'll just wait for him to calm down and forget I'm here again, right? It's like that movie Tremors. Here, take a, take a sip of something that I told you to get before the episode started. 
Well, there you go. Here's how you take down the dire wolf. You just sit on a ladder like a pansy. Uh, awesome. Not not how I had anticipated my first uncut episode of Alpha 16 going. Um, yeah, I'm going to be completely honest. Can we make, like, armor or anything? Oh, we can. Well, that's good. Uh, it's probably going to be very, very insulative. But then again, maybe we're getting cold. Here, let's chat, guys. Now we're holding pretty steady. All right, we'll wait for this guy to calm down again. How much health does this thing have? I'm also like poking at it, right, with a blunt stick too. So maybe, you know, maybe we keep that in mind as well, right? Um, we need the wood, but I don't want to go up too far and then like fall down, break the other ankle, or something equally dumb. Uh, what we can do though, twelve more, because that was all the stone we had. Okay. Um, yeah, he does the creepy noises too, which I also don't like. How much damage are we doing? 14. See, I don't want to cut the video here just because, like, the next shot's going to kill him and I will have saved all of, you know, 10 seconds, right? <sighs> Alright, guys, I'm going to cut the video here. I'll Hopefully, he'll die, I'll die, one of us will die, and I'll bring us back. Sure enough, guys, 10 seconds later, I got the last hit that I needed and I killed the guy and my leg is broke but guess what a splint could speed up healing Urf. all right um not my proudest moment by any means sitting there sniping at a dire wolf until it dies but I guess if that's what we need to do that's what we need to do we knew Early on was going to be tough. Um, need some stonage. There we go. Come on, come on. Jeez Louise. Oh. Wait, what? What the fuck? I think there's more of them. Just in case there are, we'll hide up here like a pansy. Uh, and then we'll get down there, we will harvest that, and we will continue to build. Um, probably not going to be able to fix this ankle anytime soon, but it would be nice to have a high, high up place to have, you know, for our own. And I think I figured out what, um, what my problem is with the melee weapons. I think the field of view is different from when I was playing previously. So I'm going to jack that field of view up in the next episode and see if the melee combat doesn't improve on my end. Boom. All right, so can we place these yet, right? That's kind of my, my question here is, can we do this yet? I feel like not so much. Um... Okay. Maybe like that. I think that's a good height, right? Now these trees, the structural integrity on these trees is not much at all. So we're going to need to be very careful of that. 
but um, everything else should be okay. I think these catwalks are decent. If you guys need me to, I can also give a quick primer on structural integrity and in seven days to die. Uh, once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad to figure out. See, but like all of my harvesting swings are just fine, but when I use that stupid wooden club, I miss like crazy. Well, I hope I don't get sacked from behind by a wolf. I mean, I feel like it would kind of be like poetic justice in a way, right? Because that's kind of exactly what I did. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll get over it. And eventually I'll level up and we can drop points into friggin' toolsmithing. Maybe toolsmithing was what I should have done. How much of everything do I actually have? I got some. I got some. See, I'm looking at the U... Okay, there we go. I'm looking at all over the UI and trying to figure out... Why do I have 12 points? What did I do? Did I level up twice and didn't notice? Well, 12 points. Okay. Um, so, let's see. Oh, that's enough to get a ways up. That's nice. Okay, help me out here, guys. What... Oh, player level five. Nice. Same thing. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, I bet you this is going to be real helpful. Um, how about this guy? What are you going to do for me? Block damage plus 10%. So that's probably worthwhile. Four points. Um, I'm just going to pit look at... Uh, sexual Tyrannosaurus. That's five. Okay. Well, that's all right. Let's get going. Oh, pardon me, guys. I'll have to make sure to edit that out. Oh, actually, hold on. That's enough there. Um, let's do... And I hope that we don't get picked up, I guess, is kind of what I'm going to be doing. Not that hope is a plan or anything, but that's kind of where we're at. Because I'm pretty sure that they absolutely will see us um, up here. And that tree is actually not that tough. So. So this should be pretty, pretty solid. Um, we're going to place some stuff on it. It's going to look weird because it's going to float, but that's okay. That's just how it is. Come on. If you were just fine a moment ago, don't do this. All right. And then let's see. Let's get the storage chest up. Ah, uh, unified rotations. No more hanging stuff on the walls. Not quite sure how I feel about that. I guess this guy, though, can go... Is the deer being drunk? All right, lady. Let's see. Huh. Oh, my God. I'm about to fall over again. Oh, man, guys. All right, I can just go over here, I guess. I don't know. These things not being set on the floor are really uh, causing some heartache. Take that, left boob. <sighs> I just want to place a block. You guys know what I mean. There we go. Apparently we are thirsty because we got journal entry water. Brutal's like half in, half out. Uh, we might be able to get um, bones, which I think would be good. Make a shiv real quick. 
because uh, we've killed two things that we really should have used a ship for instead of just a stone axe. Well, guys, I think I'm going to call it here. Um, everything I'm going to do from here is not going to be very entertaining. Uh, and I apologize that this first video wasn't all that great and that we didn't get anything from that lady. That is disappointing. Uh, the future episodes, I promise, will be quite a bit more entertaining. We just needed to kind of get set up and get established here. And I feel like everybody does that. And I feel like everybody does it outside of their Trader Joel's. I've seen at least three different YouTubers do it. Uh, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did enjoy the episode, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. Uh, any feedback, leave it in the comments. Share it with your friends and family. That's how the channel's growing. I have a goal of getting to 1,000 subs on the channel before Alpha 16 is over, so hopefully we can make that happen. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching Share and subscribe for more.